Hi guys. Hello, let me know if you can hear me. <clears throat> Hi guys. I'm hoping the sound is okay. It is as far as I can see, but so I'm going to hang on until five before I start guys. I was just uh, on early. Hi Linda. Can you hear me? Ah, oh, great. All right. Um, I'm just going to hang on for a few minutes. So, because for once I was early and I figured, all right, I'll just start and like try and get everything the right way. And when I turned it on today, of course, everything is like perfect. <laughs> so, craziness. You good, Linda? You doing all right? Okay. All right. Well, a couple of more minutes, guys, just so we give everybody a chance to join us. Hi, Angela. Nice to see you. Oh, I'm doing fine, Linda. I have uh, a lot of stuff going on, but other than that, I'm fine. <laughs> um, you know, I was kind of thinking. Um, let me see. Hmm. I pulled out, uh, I cut out, I don't have any stencils, I brought them home. So I figured I'd just use uh, <laughs> paper and make my own. So I'm gonna use these, we'll see what happens. All right, well, I think I'm just gonna get started. So anyhow, uh, I'm using, Let's see, I'm using these colors today. I just picked them out randomly. So I have a permanent red violet. I have vermilion. And I have azo yellow medium. And I just mixed my own colors there. And then I, yeah, and then I pulled out this crappy Winsor Newton Galleria paint that I actually hate but I'm trying to get rid of these shitty paints. So here we go. All right, um, I think I want to start with some pastel and maybe, let me see what I have in here. I didn't even pull in, out anything. I just pulled out my box that I have like random stuff in. So I don't want to use pink. Not the light green, maybe the red. Yeah, what, what color is that actually? I can't, it's so dirty, I can't even see what color it is. I think it's just red. We'll use these. So I'm going up with all uh, warm colors except for that blue. Yeah, I like these and I like the way these turned out. So I just mixed them randomly, guys. It's no, like, not, nothing big. And I, I have some lines under here. I don't know from when. It's an old page. So I figured why not use it? 
and I just put gesso over it. And you can probably see these. I don't know how good you can see them, but you can probably see the thin lines there. So I'm just going to use that, see what happens and how things work out. And then I think I'll put We'll see what happens. And then I'm going to use gesso on this. If I can get any out. And I think I just want to use that one more place. Maybe down here somewhere. Yeah, thereabouts. All right, let's see what we get, <laughs> what we get going today. So I hope you guys are good. Oh, I like the red. I like this too, actually. I love painting with the uh, uh, dry pastel. The colors always turn out so like like really matte colors when you use the gesso on them. Like really happy compared to the other one there. Nice contrast. Put some of it down here too, just for fun. Yeah, I like the red too. It turned out almost like really bright compared to that almost rusty brownish color. We have a lot of quiet people here today. I wish they would say hi. Hello, quiet people. Say hello. <laughs> All right. Um, I have a few stabilos. I'm going to use these two. Oh, yeah. And guys, look, I pulled out my solid markers. Uh, these are like, uh, they're for like uh, high temperatures. And I, I just bought them randomly, like, I don't know, ages ago. And they're like kind of um, oil-based, I think. And I haven't like used them that much because I was like, oh, can I paint over these or what? And then I don't remember who, but somebody on Instagram was using them. And I was like, oh, can you paint over, do you paint over them? Because she was like using them real early in her process. And she says, yeah, I've always painted over them. So I want to try. Hi, Sam. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Thanks for saying hello. <laughs> Three out of 12. Not that bad. So I think I'm going to try and use this too. Instead of the, I'm going to put that Stabilo away. Let's try this thing, guys. I don't know if it's going to work with paint. It, it's supposed to. So I'm just going to make some random marks with it. And then we're going to see what happens. First of all, I want to see what happens if I put gesso over it. So this is what I should have done ages ago when I started with this, right? And now I forgot water. I have to go get water. And my soda. All right. Because now we can like... Let's see what happens when uh, we put gesso on it. Does it spread? No, it doesn't spread. We just, oh, because it just covers it up. Oh, now I can use these more. I never knew that. Works fine. Hey, Tana. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny, Sam. <laughs> Hi, Heather. All right, now we got things going here. So I don't mind if people say hello. I don't bite, you know. There's, there's like five people talking and then there's like eight people that aren't saying anything. I'll say uh, cheers then, I guess. All right. 
I'm going to come in with some white just because I can and I want to. Oh, I don't know where the blue came from. Where did that come from? And the, it must have been on the brush. Oh, look at that. What blue is that? I like that. Happy mistake. All right, let's try some of this Ucky Blue then. See what we can get out of it. I actually like that blue green. I think I, think I know what that is. I think it is Prussian blue. So I'm gonna go get some. Not ultramarine. Either that, I think maybe, maybe, yeah, I think it's this. All right, so I'm gonna put some of the Prussian blue down because I like that with the, just a tiny bit of it. So this is regular Prussian, Prussian blue thalo. All right, so let's see what we can do. I have some white there. We could see if we can re recreate that. Oh yeah, there it is. I love that. I don't know why I don't use that color more. I actually don't use it a lot because I like that a lot better than I like that crappy blue. some orange in it and then they'll cancel each other out and put some black and then more of that blue and then some of the white too much blue more orange all right here we go So what else? Some of that yellow maybe? Should I put some white in there? I think maybe. I'm not sure that yellow is gonna look too great in that dark version. Some more in there. I'll try that first and see how it works. I'm gonna use a, a scraper. I'm just trying to switch things up a bit. I don't know where I want it though. And this is still wet, so I don't want to put it on there. Maybe up here. All right, I'm gonna get a paintbrush. And put some of the darker yellow over there just so I could cover up that brown. I didn't like that. Hi, Kim. Welcome. Nice to see you. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to put more white in that yellow. I want to really lighten it up. And then I'm going to get some more of it. Yeah, I'm liking how that, um, what was it called? That um, solid marker, how it's working. I like it. Solid marker. All right, I'm going to put some more of it down. See how it goes in wet paint, too. Can you smear it? I wonder what happens, what would happen if I use my palette knife and pulled my palette knife through it. And guys, this is what is, look at that. Oh, you know what that reminds me of when we were kids? I don't know if you guys did that. We used, we used to like put paper, wait a minute. We used to put paper down and then we'd like, and then we'd turn it and then we'd get these cool. <laughs> oh, look at that. Can we do, put it down? Maybe I can make marks with it. Look at that. 
That's kind of cool. If I had enough on there, that would be really cool. Oh gosh. Guys, we gotta try this. Now I'm really getting excited because this is what I love to use my journal for. All right, let's just use regular paper. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna split it in two. And then we're gonna get that marker out. And I'm gonna put loads of it on here. Oh, it's really oily. It's like, uh, almost like lipstick, actually. Almost, not quite, but almost. And it smells. Ooh, it really smells. Strong smell. All right, and then we're gonna put that over here. And then we're gonna make some marks. And I'm gonna pull it up. And we're gonna put it down in another spot too. I'm gonna make some more. And I'm gonna try and see if I can get it onto the paper. I doubt it. it, it's, it needs more on there. Maybe I could use it in another way though. Let's see how that works. on there but it could definitely work if I had put more on all right well we tried it these are the things we have to do <laughs> I mean you have to try stuff like this because if you don't you'll never know all right let's get back to the paint I'm gonna put some of that blue in there really light light version of it some of it down here and maybe even a bit up here and I want more of that um, not the red but that red iron oxide thing Let's see if I can find the dry pastel messy me oh, maybe it fell there it is I'm gonna use this again. Um, I wanna bring this back. And I wanna bring some more of that back. And that. And maybe bring even more of that too. All right, let's see. Gesso. I'll get this instead. Because this goes really nice with that blue. They're contrasting. So that's why they work well together. Yeah. And if I get more white in there. Oh, that turned gray. Right, not bad. Still works. And then I want some of that red, but I need more white. So let's see if I can get... Uh, I think I'm going to have to do more gesso because my white is almost empty. I need more. Alright, let's see. If we can, um, maybe we'll just put a tiny bit of it in there first. Oh, look at that. This is gonna, that's going to look so cool in there. I need more. We want it really bright. I love them next to each other. Brighten it up a bit. Ha! 
Hi, Marie. Welcome. All right. Um, I think I'm just going to use some black paint now. And I'm going to have to wait a bit, guys, now, because I'm going to let things dry. I don't have my um, heat gun, because I haven't gotten around to buying a new one yet. I'm just using paint now. I kind of want to make more of these lines. All right, let's take a look at it while it dries because <clears throat> I want to use these two. Um, I was just telling everybody that I don't have any stencils here because I brought them all home because I'm moving out of the studio in a few weeks. And I made these, so <laughs> we're going to try and use them. But first of all, I just want to look and see. like look at it really take a good look at the painting and then just like try and see if there's anything that would help it and i think i want to bring in some darker colors because i feel like they're missing um so i'm just putting some of that color that I mixed into that black there. Let's see what we get out of it. All right, I'm not sure where yet, but maybe over here a bit. I'm going to give it a chance to dry because it's kind of wet and then I'll see if I like it or not. Um, maybe I should put more of it somewhere. Um, there and then Maybe we could just put a bit of it up here somewhere. Some lines in there. Um, what else? I could put some of that black into the yellow and we'd get a green, I think, or a brown maybe. Green. It's still yellow enough to turn green. All right, well, that's a good color. I like that. I'm gonna put some white in there. Even, even though I want darker colors, I'm putting light in here. Oh, and look at that. The mess maker. All right, let's see. Um, where do I put it? Anywhere, I guess. I don't like that. I don't think I like it anyhow. We'll let it sit for a bit. But I do know that I'm going to like this because I like the blue with the green. So we'll see what, what happens when I do that. Hmm. It's kind of fun, but there's something wrong here. I don't know why. Yeah. Maybe. All right. 
And then that white thingy, just move my finger on it, I guess. Now I have nothing to dry this with and I want to use gesso, but I can't. So I think I want to Is this dry? No, it's not dry. Look at me with my fingers all over the place. I have no patience, guys. Maybe we should use these while we wait. I could put these somewhere. Over here, maybe. I'll try them there, I think. And um, what color? Maybe just white? Or should I come in with the orange maybe? Oh yeah, the bright orange. <laughs> All right, let's be daring and do some crazy stuff. We probably won't like. Yeah. Maybe some more of them. Spread them out a bit. Yeah, not bad. Top left side, you mean up here? Yeah, I could have done them up there too, Linda. I can still put a few of them up here. Just like two or three maybe. And then we could put some over here. The other way. More orange. Hmm. All right, let's see how that turned out. Yeah. Okay, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks for for every young. I wish I was free for every young, or do I? I'm not sure. <laughs> I had something to dry this with I would be drying it all over the place and then I would like try and um, paint over those orange marks that I just made but since I can't dry it I don't know are you guys patient enough to wait And I want to do something over these black marks too, but I can't because they're still wet too. Because uh, I think what I would do here is uh, bring more of that light orangey kind of color that we have going on. That's that with the white, I think, that color with the white in it. And I would like push that back a bit. I kind of like it like it is over here because like everything's going on over here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I have more paper stuff. Maybe I could use this. Let's do some mixed media. I'm like kind of wanting to cover up that black now because I can't get it to dry fast enough. <laughs> Maybe that's too close to that. Probably too close and probably too big too. Yeah. Not feeling any of it. I 
Nope. Not feeling the paper thing. Yeah, I like them too, Atana, but I wanna I wanna paint over them so bad. And I can't. So how many of you guys uh, have patience to wait? Like when <laughs> or do you just paint? I like it up here actually. I was like watching the YouTube uh, film because that's like delayed for me so I get to see what I was doing. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think I think I need more of that dark, I, I mean more of the blue just in a darker version of it, a darker version of it. And how do you think that looks up here? Let me know. Yeah, me too. Maybe we should just put it down then. I have, let me see, I have that medium here. We could use that. But I think I want it, maybe it's a wee bit like shorter so that I don't cover those black marks all up. All right, let's see. So all I'm doing is I have matte med gel medium and I'm just going to use some of that. So what I usually do is I like to put it on the paper and I like to put it on this piece of paper too so that it glues itself good. And then when I get it on there I like to, um, let's see if I can get it. I like to just use the gel medium on top of it too. And look at me, I got the black all over it. I, I'm, I'm the only person in the world who is this uh, messy. I'm the messiest person. My husband is like, oh, he's all, He's all uh, annoyed with me because I'm like, I mess things up all the time. I mess that up too, but it's still okay, I guess. And this is still not drying. All right, you know what I could do? Just to like, hurry it up a bit. We'll put some paper over it. That works. I'll do it here too. There we go. Yeah, I think I need a darker blue. I'm, I'm agreeing with you, but I don't know where. What do you think, guys? Let me know. And I'm just gonna try and do like a thin paint over this. I'm gonna use that matte, uh, matte medium, actually. And I'm gonna, let's see. Let's go with the gesso. And a tiny bit of that and just make a really light version of it. I'm not going to use that paintbrush at all. And then I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to get a paintbrush and I'm going to put some matte medium on it. All right, so I have gel medium on there. And I'm just going to mix that in with that light color because then it goes transparent, right? Let's see how that works. Yeah, that's gonna be good, I think. Let's see. I need more color. It's too, I have too much uh, medium and too little paint because it's not doing anything. So we're gonna have to, I put more paint in there and then we'll try again. And that's too much. So it's like you have to try and then like just see if you can get it to work somehow. Still a bit dark maybe. Because all I want to do is kind of push back some of it so that, so that it's not all in your face, all right? And I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to get 
some of that yellow that I have over there. Lighten it up a bit. I put a bit of tiny bit of water on my brush. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the yellow here. I'm not worrying about that blue because I think I'm going to put the darker blue there afterwards. And then, guys, you know, you can, when I, I like pushed it back and maybe I pushed it back a bit too much. So I can always come in and like bring it back if I want in certain spots. Oh, that wasn't the orange. I need the clear orange. That's that. Like that, I can like bring it back. Just the bits that I want. I don't want to cover it all up. See how that works. Ah, oh, thanks, Stephanie. That's a sweet. Hi, Mel. Hey. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Angela, you know what? You just have to do it because if you're going to, if you let yourself, uh, if you stop yourself because you're afraid, you're never going to, I mean, you're going to miss out on all the good bits, right? So, hi, Stephanie. Welcome, nice to have you here. Texas, you're lucky, it's warm there, I guess. I'm in Norway and still waiting for the heat. <laughs> well, it's better, it's not that, it's not ice cold here now, it's, it's getting there. All right, let's try some of that darker blue then. I have the blue there and I have some black, so I'm just gonna put the black and the blue together. All right, my plate is awful, so I'm just going to get a new one to see what I got. Kind of like that. Yeah, I like that. Not bad. And, and you know, when I come in with this dark uh, color now, I'm going to have to wait again because usually when I put a dark color like this in, it's like dominates a lot and I have to push it back or do something so that it doesn't like steal the show. Um, I'm thinking I could put some more of it over here too, but not sure where. Maybe we'll put it up here. It's almost black, so I'm gonna put some more blue in there. And then, maybe I could just do these in blue now. And then, let's see if I can find a thinner brush. And I'm gonna try and make some more of that lighter blue. So I could put that back over on top of what I just did. Not bad. Kind of like it. Yeah, I like that too. I would come over with some color at the ends, but I don't even think I'm gonna try and do that without my uh, uh oh god words today a uh, heat gun because i don't have anything to dry this with today so what i want to do here now is like make marks of some kind
Now I'm going to wait and see what it looks like <laughs> on the film. <laughs> uh. Hey guys, you know what we're going to do next Tuesday when I log on, we'll just, I'll just put out uh, a code, um, a Zoom code. I think I'll just do it that way. I'll just leave, you know what I'll do? I'll just leave uh, the login to Zoom uh, as a comment on this uh, video. And then we could do a Zoom video as the last, uh, as the last video I do for, uh, before the summer. I would really like that. I do too. Yeah, they turned out nice. But I might need some more uh, of that light blue down here with this uh, dark blue. I don't like that it's all white. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't play with it. Sometimes things are, le <laughs> are better left undone, right? But then, yeah. Sometimes not. I'm going to go for it. Because I'm not really in love with that white. Cover up that gray part too. Yeah, I kind of like it. Turns out kind of fun. Or is it too crazy? Should I calm it down in places? Or... I think so too, Marie. We've been talking about it for ages. I could, well, you know what? I'll just send an email out. If I, are you guys on my? I know that most of you are probably, but if you're not on my email list, just go to uh, my website and then sign up for my uh, uh, on my email list. And yeah, five o'clock next Tuesday on Zoom. But I can only be there for an hour, no longer than an hour, because I have another Zoom meeting at 7 on, on Tuesday. So that would be fun. So, all right, if you want to join, then just head over to my website, kathymevic.com, and then you sign up for my email, and I'll see you on Zoom. And then we can even talk with each other to each other. <laughs> that would be good. All right, I think I'm gonna leave this crazy thing alone. I like it, like crazy. You know, I could like go in and calm things down, but I kinda like it. What do you guys think? Should I do something or should I leave it? Let me know. Yeah, I wanna do Zoom, that's for sure. We've been talking about it for so long, so now we're just going to do it. Next Tuesday. Thanks, Stephanie. I'm pleased with this one. I like it. I do. I, I really like it. Thanks, Angela. Thank you. Thanks, Tana. Oh, good. Then I'm on the right track, guys. All right. Well, then I'm going to let it dry. Take a picture of it so I can put it on my Insta. Oh, so do I. Marie, I do too. I love this. Oh. I know. It makes my heart like go pitter-patter. <laughs> Oh, that would be nice, Timo. I'd love to have you there. Thanks, Linda. Aw. Thank you. I'm really happy with this. It was fun, too. And I like that I got to try and go crazy with this thing. And now I know that I can, like, do crazy stuff on canvas with this. So I'm telling you guys, art journaling is the best. I'll never, I'm, I'll probably never stop art journaling because it gives me a lot of ideas and makes me want to, you know, go crazy. <laughs> All right. 
well it was nice talking to you guys and i hope i see you next tuesday on zoom i'll um i'll try and send out a link let me see uh if i send the link out on thursday would that be good this thursday so that you have it and then um yeah that, that's gonna be fun i can't wait now All right, you too, Angela. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in a week. All right, let me see if I can find my mouse so I can stop this video. All right, bye, guys. Love you.